Day five here in Chicago in our new apartment. Still very echoey as we have very limited furniture. We have two desks, desk chairs, and an air mattress to our name right now. Gonna get more furniture, hopefully today. A lot of it is being delivered, which is super nice, and hopefully we'll be a little more comfortable here soon. But as you can see, this is our kind of new recording studio, if you will slash office, I guess you could say. So we're pretty excited about it, but today I wanted to share why we moved to Chicago. Okay, so how did two East Coast kids from Massachusetts end up here in the Midwest in Chicago? For some reference, let's go back a little bit to 2020. So the year is 2020, everybody's favorite year. That year also just so happened to be the year that Sarah and I graduated from college. I graduated from Clemson University in May. She graduated from Brown University also in May of that year. And then we both got jobs back home in Massachusetts for after graduation, so we moved back home. And now obviously during 2020, not much was happening. So we figured we'd just stay home, save some money, and then figure out what we want to do because why rent a place when we're just gonna be able to do nothing anyways and spend money for essentially nothing. And thankfully we had the opportunity to stay home. Our parents let us stay home. They were happy to have us back. They were honestly pretty excited because we hadn't really been home for the past four years. So we got to spend some extra quality time with them and it all worked out very well. But then 2021 kind of happened and it started and it didn't really get a whole lot better from there in terms of things opening up or being able to do anything. So we kind of just stayed home through 2021 as well. It wasn't really that much different every year. Things were getting better towards the end of the year, but it was, it was nothing special. So we decided, okay, let's just stay home one more year, figure it out after this fact. We have a place to stay. It's no big deal at all. This is what we'll do for now. We have great jobs. Let's just, let's just hang out. And then that brings us into 2022. Last year was significantly better. Things were opening up, travel became more normal again, and things were happening. So we were able to do more things that we were excited about and wanted to do. So we took last year pretty much to travel as much as possible. And it was absolutely amazing. We went to, I think, 12 different countries in the 12 months of 2022. It was absolutely amazing to be able to share that experience here on YouTube. And it's kind of the year that really inspired us to do more YouTube videos, to create more stories, do more storytelling, and just sort of figure that out. So we kind of also took 2022 to kind of be at home when we were traveling, but also travel a lot more, and it worked out really, really well. So then that brings us to 2023. And here's some of the short answer reasons why we moved to Chicago. We both have friends that live in Chicago. I have two friends that have been here for one of them about three years now actually and one for about a year and a half and which Sarah has another friend that she went to college with here. So we have a good group of friends here already established that have talked about Chicago. They absolutely love it here. So we figured why not give it a shot for that? And then there's the cost of living. So Boston is a pretty expensive city on the East Coast as well as New York. And Chicago just has a lower cost of living on average than both of those cities. And we have a bunch of friends in New York, not many in Boston actually anymore. A lot of them have moved away, which is pretty funny, but New York is crazy expensive as you know, and Chicago just for the money that you're spending, you can get a lot more, whether it be on rent or just other things relative to what you can get in New York or Boston. So we figured that was a good deciding factor as well, logically for money and financial purposes. And as you might know from following along with us for a while now, travel is a huge part of our lives, both here on YouTube as well as just in general. We absolutely love traveling. We love experiencing new things, creating new memories, going on adventures, meeting new people, trying new foods, experiencing new cultures, just everything that you can get from traveling, we absolutely adore. So O'Hare International Airport being one of the largest in the US, as well as being so close to downtown Chicago was a huge draw for us. You can get a flight pretty much anywhere in the world from O'Hare and then anywhere in the world within one connection from O'Hare, which is absolutely crazy. Boston is a great airport. It's huge. It has a lot of direct flights, but not nearly as many as Chicago. And that in itself is a huge reason for us to move here. Next is the car situation. We do not want to own a car. And so far in Chicago, from our experience, you do not exactly need one, especially if you live near the downtown, near a CTA stop or a train stop or a bus stop. Everything is super walkable so far in our experience compared to a bunch of other cities in the United States where you would move there and still need a car just to do anything. So that is also a huge factor in our decision. So that pretty much narrowed it down like 
even before Chicago, like, okay, what cities can we live in that we don't need a car to do anything? And it really got small, unfortunately, here in the US. Our public transit system as a whole isn't as great as some countries, but in certain cities, it is pretty good. And Chicago is one of them, at least in our experience so far. And then finally, pretty much, we just wanted to experience living in a city and we figured we might as well do something different. You know, we're mid 20 year old people. We have no responsibilities other than our job. We have no pets, no kids, no real financial burdens, if you could call it that, that would be associated with staying in one place. So we figured, why not move somewhere totally different and then see if we like it. And if we don't, we can just leave. <laughs> you know, it's pretty much as simple as that. Thankfully, we're at a good spot in our lives right now with both our jobs and just like where we are like as a relationship. So we figured it was a good time to just do it. And we figured why not? So it was really, really exciting. It was hard to leave our families obviously, but again, we're super close to home. It's like a direct two hour flight to Boston. It's not a big deal at all. So we're very excited for this next adventure and we're excited to keep sharing it on YouTube. We hope that you stick around for our Chicago adventures. And yes, travel will still be a priority. Travel is not going anywhere on this channel by any means. We will absolutely continue to do it. We're gonna take probably the next month-ish to not travel, get settled in the city, experience the city, and then this summer we will be back in full force, getting back into traveling, and we are so excited about that. But we also have some more uh, in-depth, I guess you could say, reasons for moving to Chicago, and I'm gonna let Sarah explain those. But in the meantime, look at this. We got our couch. Full disclosure, we got it from Ikea and Ikea partners with TaskRabbit, this app that you can hire people to build their furniture for you. So we did hire a guy on TaskRabbit to do it. He just finished building it. It took him about four hours to do this as well as some dressers and nightstands that we got for our bedroom. But we are so excited to finally have a place to lie down here in the living room. And it isn't as nearly as echoey as it was beforehand. But anyways, I'll let Sarah explain the other parts of why we moved to Chicago. Okay, one second. Before Sarah gets into some more reasons as to why we moved to Chicago, I want to take a quick minute here to talk about my favorite clothing brand, Cuts. If you've been following our travels for a while now, you know how much I absolutely love Cuts and all of their clothes. I've been wearing them for about a year and a half, two years now almost, and I am absolutely obsessed. Let me show you why. So not only are they a great travel clothing brand because they are super comfortable, lightweight, and pretty much go with everything, they also have a bunch of different colors and designs. And if you'll notice here, all these colors are solid colors. So no crazy logos, nothing that like stands out too much, just sleek, comfortable, modern design that looks great. Not only do they have some great looking shirts, they also have some amazing and very comfortable pants. They have their AO joggers as well as the regular AO pants. Personal favorite are the AO joggers. They look great and they are super, super comfortable. And then finally, my personal favorite is the classic hoodie. I wear it on every travel day, every travel occasion. I always have one with me because it is super comfortable, lightweight, and it keeps me just warm enough that I'm not too hot and not too cold for a hoodie. So if you are looking for the next best travel clothing or you want to update your wardrobe, hit the link in the description below for 15% off or use code KJ and Sarah at checkout and let us know what you think. Anyways, let's get back to the video. All right, so another reason, or just like a deeper, more emotional reason of moving to Chicago is that we really needed our own place. Travel full time is great. Um, there's, I love traveling. There's so much of the world to see. I love the feeling of awe, visiting new countries, biking in Vietnam was one of my favorite experiences. Dog sledding in Norway. There's so many things to experience. We have some friends with us right now. Hello guys. And I honestly want to experience them all, but traveling full time and quickly with the turnarounds and everything is just a little bit much sometimes, even though I we have privilege being able to travel. Um, we really needed a home base. There's a lot of like, I have health stuff going on behind the scenes too. If you don't know, I've been diagnosed with celiac disease about a year and a half ago. So I'm still, the process to get fully healed takes like a year or two. So we're still very much in the healing phase, although I'm adjusting to the lifestyle and I was able to travel and it's great. Um, yeah, there's just, we need to have our own kitchen. So yeah, we were kind of burnt out from traveling, I would say. Um, more so me than KJ. I think KJ could go all day long. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I have these extra things that I are part of my life now. 
on whether I like it or not, so I gotta address it. And we're 25, so it's time to like, it just feels right to live in a city that's very exciting with friends and like do this phase of life. I think both of us are very curious people and we both wanna experience all parts of life. So I feel like we have different eras, different phases, so we'll do like, we did a little van life era, we did a little full-time travel era, we're doing our city era now. I feel like there's so many ideas in my head, like I've always wanted to live on an orchard in the fall, like random things. I've always wanted to like kinda live on an island. So I just feel like there's so much adventure in our future and this is just one piece of it and I'm excited to have you along for the ride. Thanks for listening if I was babbling. So there you have it. A couple shorter, smaller reasons and one pretty good reason to have a home base here in Chicago for all of our future adventures, our future travels, and our future videos. Like I said earlier, we kind of have this little office studio space, so we are excited to delve more into YouTube and create more videos, hopefully that keep getting better. Because I really am enjoying this storytelling phase and like kind of process, if you will. Neither of us went to film school, so we are learning as we do, which is an awesome way to do things in my opinion. So we're having a lot of fun and we cannot wait to share more, but for now we will see you in the next one. Everything was even better than it had been 